right. This is what we got. And we gotta tarp this thing too. Uh, this isn't flooring or doors. This is, uh, so I w used to work for a company called uh, Peach State Mobile Homes. It was in Adel, Georgia. And basically what would happen is they would sell a, a trailer and then the people would get, they would set the trailer up, the people would get moved in. Then they would make a punch list. And me and a couple of guys, would, we would go out and we'd fix everything that needed to be fixing. Like sometimes bouncing down the road, the sheet rock on the ceiling, so it's kind of windy. Uh, the, the sheet rock would crack or, you know, there'd be different, different problems. I think we called this batten. This is, uh, when you stick two pieces of the sheet rock together, it's already got this wallpaper stuff on there. So you had to get the ones that match the wallpaper on the sheet rock, but you would just take and nail this along that strip down in the middle. This looks like it's some baseboard, but that's pretty much all this is, is different varieties of all this. Most of this is going to uh, Lafayette, Tennessee. And then when we get up here and then we got Benton and then Nashville on the other side. Oh, here's some Nashville here. What you think, woman? What? Nah, they can't hear that can't that guy's jamming out to some music over there. He's got a dune and trailer too. <clears throat> you ready to uh, tarp this thing? You're waiting on me. Alright, there we go, all done. We just just strapping down our other two tarps. Ended up using a new old uh, new end flap on both ends, and then we turned an old 18 by 16 sideways to do the middle because the middle one that we have is uh, our middle tarp is massive. So I really only use that middle tarp if it actually like completely fills up the trailer. Even then, it's not really needed to be honest. Make sure that's tight. We can have them tarps falling off the back. Robert, why are you always talking and letting Lita do all the work? They don't like it when I call you woman either. You know that? you tell him to get mad at me? No. Huh? Come on. Push that thing. Come on. Yeah. Crank it. Crank it. Put that weight into it. That centrifugal weight. Bouncing weight. Are you good with that? Yes. All right. Letting these airbags fill up. You know, I got under there this weekend and uh, I couldn't find any air leaks. I don't know where the air is going. And then I got underneath the truck and I was gonna grease underneath of the truck. And that thing has no grease points anywhere. Because they're disc brakes, you don't have any um, slack adjusters and uh, uh, S-cam uh, rods to grease. None of the uh, drive shaft has any grease points you've got kingpin on the front even the bushings on the um, leaf springs on the front don't have grease fittings which is which is wild to me like this thing has hard I guess Kenworth is just like ah you're just gonna replace these parts when we tell you you're gonna replace them hey five butts well I guess we're ready to go a pretty nice place to load. They were quick about it. Some people screaming at each other. About 20, I'm uh, mile marker 15 here at 285 southbound, right now in the ATL. Hey, four, one, one, 16, mile marker heading on the north mile side. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, that's 
guy is blocking this guy from backing into that spot. Get the f out of the way! Well, good morning. We uh, we made it to uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. We're staying at uh, Uncle Pete's restaurant here off of, uh, I guess that's the 40 right there. Got here last night. Too dark to really film anything. Um, we stopped at the pilot first and what a shit show that was. I told Lita I wanted to come to this one anyways because I don't I, I hate pilots. I'd rather come to these little mom and pop places, but she got the two mixed up and we ended up going to pilot and ended up ended up being a big pain in the butt. So finally we made over here and there was uh there's parking over here. Food in there was pretty good. Uh, showers were $15 for two people. Or something here. You gonna use that? This is something new. Nothing special about the shower. But yeah, this is where we're at until. Uh, Tomorrow morning we're gonna start dropping those three drops. Uh, we walked the dogs here last night and there's a uh, stray living in this pipe up here. I say I say he or she's living in the pipe. She kept running to that point. Like it looked like she he, he or she wanted to come up and see the dogs, but Mackie started barking and acting like an idiot and it ran away. And now now it won't really get close. But it, you could tell it was definitely interested. So I, so I brought some dog food over here to it last night and it rained so I don't know if it got to eat before come on guys let's go let's go check on this doggy's food real fast before it started raining hopefully come on guys please let's walk let's go check on this doggy food I don't know what kind of a dog it is oh I'm sorry fat butts are you peeing <clears throat> but it looks like a lot of people uh, bring it food over here, so I don't think it's starving. I don't know if it uh, lives with those people back there, but it definitely has this it's this tunnel. Like it would run through the tunnel, and it would go to the other side of the road over there, and you'd see uh, him or her like watching you. Like it's super skittish about letting you come close. It looks like either it ate the dog food or. Uh, Something ate the dog food. Hey, get away from there. I don't know. All right, let me walk these doggies. All right, good morning. It is Monday morning. About 5.45 in the morning. I was gonna wake up early. I was gonna get fuel this morning. But uh, fuel went up almost 50 cents. It went up 49 cents last night. It was uh, 3.13 here. Last night. And it was, uh, I think, a penny less across the street. And now it's 3.62. It went up over 50 cents overnight. Let me see what the uh, fuel app says. What are you doing, phone? <sighs> That's crazy, dude. 50 cents overnight. So 
so we got a busy day ahead of us. We've got, um, still saying the speedway down the road's 307. Man, we got three drops to do today. I mean, I hope we can do the Kentucky one today. Hope we can do them all today. We have a 10 o'clock appointment for the second one, so we have to be there like first thing for the first one. And the first one is the is the the most amount. The first one's almost the entire trailer. The second and third one is basically just the top deck. So I mean at least that'll be nice. We'll have all that weight. This it's got some weight to it, man. It's you think just like some mobile home molding? It's it says it's 40, almost 43,000 pounds, and I can feel it coming up through the mountains. It definitely kicked us back to like 25 mile an hour coming up that mountain. And we have a laundry list of stuff on there, man. The amount of paperwork they gave us for this load is crazy. I've never seen so much. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know if I told you guys we went out and got T-Mobile uh, home internet. And um, it worked fantastic all week long. Lita accidentally unplugged it at one point and everything switched over to the Starlink and like my phone stopped working. I'm like, what's going on here? Why isn't my phone working? It was because it switched over to the Starlink. It, that's a shame, man. I, I really wanted to support Elon because... But I think they just they pushed it out to too many people too fast, or or just because we're on the RV plan now, we just we get pushed back on priority. But like, I mean, they went up. It's one hundred and fifty dollars a month for that internet. So we pay a hundred dollars a month for internet at the house. We pay one hundred and fifty dollars a month for internet on this truck, and now the T-Mobile is fifty dollars a month. And T-Mobile says they guarantee they'll never raise the price on you. But, I mean, it's it's been great, man. It worked flawlessly gaming this weekend, huh? Yeah. Low latency? It was great, man. Hope, I hope. I hope I get to shut this Starlink off. Maybe we'll return back to it one day when he opens up more satellites or whatever. But, man... It has not been very reliable. Well, we woke up kind of early, so we're just kind of sitting around. So we had our alarm set to like 5.30. We ended up waking up at 5. Already walked the dogs. So now we're just kind of sitting around, waiting to start the day. We don't want to get there too early. I mean, I guess there's no such thing as that, huh? Mm. Trying to figure out if they... Our driver's copy has all of the drops on it. All right, I guess we'll see you guys at the uh, first drop. I mean, how much time do we have? All right, stop number one. You got your keys out? I got my keys out. Brings back some memories. All right, so they get uh, they get all of this back here. So we got to take off the back tarp, this tarp, and a majority of this tarp. What are you guys doing? Alright, pretty much ready for them. 
yeah they get this whole back section and then Nashville gets this top piece and everything on the other side and then Benton Kentucky just gets these uh these couple stacks right here on this side Roll these straps up. What you think, woman? I gotta get the... A couple corners down, I'll get the uh, strap roller out. All right, stop one number one done. I don't know after we get Nashville's off if I'm gonna retarp uh, Benton, Kentucky. I believe is where we're going. Benton, Kentucky. It's looking good. It's, I hope hope we get all these dropped today. I mean, we should. They're not that far from each other. <sighs> all right. I forgot to put us in on duty here. Whoops. All right, stop number two, Nashville, Tennessee. We're here an hour early. Um, I said to go ahead and untarp it. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here because uh, this isn't a very big lot here. And this back spot, this truck area here is full of trucks. And uh, you guys know this trailer doesn't doesn't turn around real well so we may have to back all the way out of here just to get out of here I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get in here and turn around anywhere <sighs> all right let's get this untarped and uh, they're gonna come out I don't know if they're gonna load us in the street here or what but this is definitely not set up for a spread axle step deck where they had appointment no i don't think so yeah. you think that's why they had appointment no yeah because they can't fit that many trucks in here oh you think that's it yeah yeah maybe do you have your keys on you i do i got my okay. key
All right, so I thought they were getting everything over here, but that's going to Benton. And then this is going to Nashville. We can't, I, I thought we could pick this up by hand and maybe move it over. That's not gonna work. So they're gonna have to unload this pallet, set it off to the side, take theirs, and then set this Benton back up here for me. Or on the trailer somewhere, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think I'm gonna retarp this for, what are we, like an hour away from Benton? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, that's drop number two done. Looks like we'll be at the next one in two hours. And it looks like they estimated us to be there at about one o'clock. Looks like we're gonna be there about 12. So we're, knock on wood, man. An hour ahead of schedule. Probably just shot myself in the foot saying that. Where's this, Benton? Benton, Kentucky? Yeah. Benton, Kentucky. All right, last stop. Still haven't found a load yet. I, uh, I ended up sleeping on an over-dimensional load that was paying really good. I think it was only like nine foot five wide. I should have grabbed it. Now it's gone. The only thing I see on the board that's worth paying is like going back down to like Orlando, Florida. And if we go to Orlando, we're going home. And uh, hoping to stay out and make a couple bucks. Before, before Christmas time. I'm, uh, I'm getting caught up on videos only because we haven't been working. Let me get in the truck, it's kinda cold. We're gonna wait on the forklift driver here. You're so silly. Yeah, so I mean, I'm only getting caught up on videos because we haven't been working, so I'm running out of content. Yesterday at, uh, what's the name of that truck stop? Pete's truck stop? Uncle Pete's. Uncle Pete's. They had really good food, by the way. We ate there for breakfast and lunch. Man, I, my food was great. Yeah. Huh. That's good, too. How was your food? They got some gravy from my biscuits and gravy from the morning. Oh, you're so warm. Cool. Yeah, but, uh, I, I mean, I, I started adding footage of, uh, almost being caught up, I think. It was the load that uh, I thought we had from Tallahassee to Greenville or whatever it was, like like the 40 mile, the crane mat load. Oh yeah, that we got stuck behind in a 
oversized load. Yeah, that we got stuck behind an oversized load. Uh, I mean, maybe it was dumb for us to drive over there, but I mean, he made it seem like, oh yeah, I mean, you have the load. We just have to verify with these people. You don't even have it. You don't have the load until it's on your deck. Yeah, you don't have it if you have a recon. But like, I was trying to like get over there and make up, trying to get over there and start as soon as possible because they said we could run as many as we could in a day at 400 bucks a load. So I was like, I'm gonna get over there and as soon as they send us a Raycon, I'll be there to pick one up. And that didn't work out, so kind of sucks. Then we came home and found out the windshield was cracked. It's kind of um, <laughs> it's kind of fugly looking. I got to get my razor and, and scrape this glue, but I I think it stopped. So I drill stopped it here once, and then I was showing lead on the way home. I'm like, hey, when we go home and I go to fill this crack, I want you to push on the windshield like this. And I started pushing on the windshield. And I noticed when I drill stopped this one here, it had just a little bit of a tail. I'm like, man, I should grind that tail out. But as soon as I pushed up on it, it cracked again over here. So I had to drill, drill stop it again here. And I'm pretty sure I got it to the end of the crack. And then I'll just take a uh, razor and we'll scrape this and it'll be whatever it is because I'm not about to dump a thousand dollars into it. I don't know what this windshield would be. I imagine it won't, it won't be cheap. Oh, I should be looking for a load right now instead of talking. All right, let me look for a load. All right, we are unloaded. There's a uh, Loves and a Speedway in Calvert City, about 15 minutes away. So we're going to go sit there while Lita finds us a load. Let's see if we can back out of this bad boy here. That wasn't too bad of a load. Honestly, they all jumped on getting us unloaded. It could have been a whole lot worse. I mean, it does help that it was like almost five bucks, five bucks a mile. I wouldn't be doing this for no 250 a mile. Like some of these fools out here on the road. It's gotta pay, man. It's gotta pay. I mean, as long as like, I don't know. The way I look at it, as long as like they're along the route and the miles add up, I mean, ideally you want three bucks a mile. And I figure like $200 for every additional stop. And I feel like, I feel like that would be fair. As long as it's not like some BS place unloading. These were pretty quick. These guys jumped right on us at all three places. That's how it should be. Yeah, that's exactly how it should be. So, I guess we're gonna head up to this um, Loves. Uh, we're gonna need some fuel, so maybe I'll throw some fuel in this pig and we can get a shower if we want. We'll see you guys in Calvert, Calvert City. Shit. Uh, uh. All right, so this is Calvert, Kentucky. We were just here. I just posted the video of us being here and Lita walking over to that subway and them not serving breakfast. I was excited because I looked it up on Trucker Path. I'm like, oh, it says there's a subway over there. Now we can get some breakfast. They don't do breakfast at that subway, so. That is a bummer. So we're gonna fuel up here. Uh, I think we're just gonna park here too. They got a couple of spots. Ooh, it's windy. A couple of spots over there, a giant, a giant field for the dogs to play in. And uh, I'm just going to hunker down and look for a load. Um, I'm seeing some empty flatbeds, so not a good sign. There's, uh, that blue truck's empty and I seen a couple of empty over at Love's. I mean, does that mean anything? I mean, there's empty trucks everywhere, right? But <clears throat> it's whoever finds the load first. All right, let me top this pig off. We'll uh, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> 